Good morning, everybody. Of course, because as soon as I start talking, the sun comes out. I'm actually in my garden today. I put up these tomato towers, so tomato cages for my tomatoes, and it actually holds my phone for those camera things, so it's pretty entertaining for me. I just had to share. Anyways, so my video yesterday about Mercury Retrograde stemmed a very small discussion on one of the chat groups that I'm in on Facebook about how Mercury in Retrograde isn't real and this optical illusion and how humorous this person found it. Uh, which, if you watched the whole video yesterday, you see that I talk about the energy of retrograde and that it's not really the planet going backwards in space because obviously planets don't move backwards in space. Um, and then it's about the angles and the energies and all of that kind of thing. But today I want to talk about energy and about how those energies correlate with each other. And for all, you know, there are a lot of people out there who say, oh, Mercury in retrograde doesn't exist. It's not real. All of the retrogrades are just an illusion. That energy is not real. So I know I said this before, but the moon changing shape is an optical illusion based off of the shadows and the angles of the earth and the moon and yet this is a very important aspect in our magical practice and I have yet to meet a pagan who tried to tell me that oh I don't I don't practice the full moon or follow the moon in any way because it's just an optical illusion maybe there's one out there uh, and if, I'd love to hear why you say that but uh, really all of these energies that we may see as an optical illusion or don't see or feel or whatever there it's the energy that's given off by a thing okay so take this little tiny rock out of my garden okay it's just a small rock its energy only goes out so far think about it as your aura um, when you have a strong aura your aura goes out very far and sometimes it doesn't but everybody's got an aura their energy goes out so far we call it our bubble in the house um, but so everything has a bubble from this rock to this this leaf off of this weed right here like all of all of these things have energy the dirt beneath my feet the wind in the air it all has an energy um, some of these energies well all of these energies are in some way measurable through science um, in more recent times they have started to even measure the uh, the energetic connection between a mother and a child after the child's been born and they can measure these things they have found ways to do that you know look into quantum physics when we look at the particles that go in a straight line when nobody's in the room they're totally random these things are not just coincidences this is because of the energy present that we all give off that everything is out even this little rock it's like a random rock out of the dirt in my yard it still has an energy it has a presence and so the larger an item is the grander that presence when you hold that giant piece of amber in your hand you really feel that ancient energy as compared to when you hold one this size it's only okay I can feel the ancient energy but when you're holding a giant piece of amber that ancient energy is just emanating from that it's radiating and you can really feel that and so the larger the object the greater that energy the earth in which we stand on you can measure the magnetic electromagnetic energy of the earth um, and I think that that's a great way the electromagnetic energy is a great way to think about the magical energy oh, it's windy. let's see if it makes my phone down this is amazing I just have to say uh, anyways uh, so that electromagnetic energy is one of the ways that we can measure this magical energy. One of the ways that we can work with the energies is through electromagnetic energy. Um, and I know some great practitioners who just focus on that kind of magic. They do a lot of work with frequencies and sounds and stuff like that, and it's amazing. Uh, so all of these energies vibrate out with an energy. They resonate with an energy. And so when we're talking about the planets, planets are ginormous and so the energy that they radiate is ginormous and it affects all of the energies around them you know gravity is another way that we can define this magic that we can measure unseen energies between two items and you think about it that even the gravity between the planets as they come next to each other in their orbit affects the planet it affects the rotation 
some planets more so than others because some of them are larger or smaller or whatnot but they all flow with this different energy and that energy expands outwards another way I like to describe it is you think about a lake and when it starts raining and each drop of rain creates a ripple and that ripple is the energy of an item and it continues out until it reaches another item and then an, every drop of energy is every raindrop is a new drop of energy and every ripple is that energy expanding and eventually it's almost hard to see the difference between the energies because they're all vibrating out they're all creating these ripples and bouncing off of each other and, and doing amazing things but if we just take that one ripple, you can see the energy come out from an item. And it ripples out in all directions until it dissipates because it gets so far. But most of the time it bounces off something or it comes into contact with something that then influences that energy and it bounces around. And this is kind of where the idea of what you send out comes back to you. Because if you think about it in that nature, like you are a ripple in the bucket of energy of all around you. And so you send out that energy and then it bounces off all of the things around you and it comes back at you. It's been affected by the things around you, but it still comes back to you. So this energy goes out and it comes back and when we're talking about the planets in retrograde, that's a huge planet and its energy goes out very, very far and it influences the cosmic energy that flows all around us. Um, and so all the way down to the little things, like I said, like the dirt, like the phases of the moon, like the plants right here, all of these things have a different energy and they all resonate and vibrate. It all expands out. And so even if something is an optical illusion, how we're seeing it is the optical illusion. I mean, in reality, everything that we're seeing is an optical illusion. The plants around me are green, not because they're green, but because they're absorbing all the light other than green and they're only reflecting that green energy oh my god I could just go on forever energy is an amazing thing and you cannot say oh that's an optical illusion and I don't believe in it just because it doesn't fit into your practice now that's great you don't have to focus on that energy you don't have to make it a primary aspect of your energy but you can't say that that energy doesn't exist mercury is a giant planet when it is on the other side of the sun and it moves in the part of its orbit and we're in this other part of our orbit to where it looks like the planet is moving backwards in our sky it is affecting the energy that is cosmically balancing the entire universe you know we are all made out of stardust we all came from the same thing we all transformed and came and been and all of those things but it's still the same inner cosmic energy that's flowing through the universe it's flowing through the plants it's flowing through the earth that holds the protons and the neutrons and the electrons all together floating in this beautiful -ness that is everything around us so everything has an energy all of that energy resonates out all of that energy vibrates and interacts and connects with and changes and influences and is influenced by all of the things around it and when we start to practice magic we're tapping into that energy we're tapping into that kind of place and we're affecting where those ripples of energy go and if we concentrate the energy so that our ripples go in one direction then we achieve our magical goal that's why focus and insight and or, uh, well, insight is important. You should be able to see your magic from a different perspective. Um, and then it'll be more powerful because you're seeing the ripples from all different angles. And then you get the rainbows and everything because you only see the rainbow from one side. That is another optical illusion. Oh, I love it. So, I hope everybody has a great day. If you have any questions about energy, like I said, I could go on forever. I feel like about 10 minutes is probably enough for now. Uh... Let me know if you have any questions, if you disagree, agree, whatever it may be, just let me know. And I hope that everybody has a fantastic Friday and a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Blessed be. Don't forget to like and subscribe.